Hello there, I'm going to give you a little uh, video tour of this Rapido uh, 2019 Distinction I-1090 uh, that we have here at Highbridge. Um, it has been sold on paper and had lots of extras fitted, but it was never collected and I don't know what the reason was behind that, you have to talk to the salesman, but um, hence there are lots and lots of features, uh, extras like the tow bar and things like that. Um, I'll go and read some of the extras actually that have been fitted to it. It's got the engine upgrade, automatic, uh, 180 brake horsepower. It's got an upgrade on the furniture. It's got LED headlights. It's got the Aldi um, wet heating that goes through the floor. 16 inch alloys and 125 litre fuel tank. So let's have a good look around the outside. And then I'll go around the external lockers quickly and I'll give you a look on the inside. It's a twin axle, so it's never been driven off site. I think it was just sold on paper and had extras fitted to it in preparation and then never collected for whatever reason. There's the um, tow bar there, the reversing camera at the top. Hence, it's still brand new. Um, and it would only have sort of delivery miles on the clock or wherever we've moved it around site. certainly would make you feel king of the road this it's a good size very comfortable uh, could easily take you on the most amazing grand tour let's have a go around the lockers so first thing we come to on the driver's side is the gas locker so room in there for two gas bottles and then you have this um, locker which has a sort of a hidden drawer and then as I go around the other side you'll see that that goes through the whole length of the floor up to that point point. Then we have the habitation door there this is also another uh, storage unit which goes all the way through there for the whole width of the vehicle and then we come just before we get to the garage, we come to another storage area which has got an external shower point there and two plugs. Oh no, not two plugs, sorry. Uh, power for the um, water tanks, I do apologise. Probably heating for the water tanks, so heated water tanks stop any completely sort of winterised, stop any freezing in the tanks. And then we have this huge garage. Now I've got the bed set to its highest point so you can see the full height of the garage and it's just a push button lowering of the bed. I'll leave it in its high position so I can show you the full height of the garage. As you can see, it comes to the top of the both doors and then when lowered, the bed would be lowered well, approximately 30 centimeters, I guess. So you've got your jack there, you've got heating in the garage, um, that informs you that you've got steadies. That's the, and obviously we've got the carpet stored in there. Yeah. Okay, so massive garage for storing loads of stuff. As I mentioned before, there's your tow bar, and it's also it looks like a removable tow bar as well. So, for aesthetics, you could remove the tow bar. Uh, there's those steadies that I was talking about there. Bit of extra security when you're on site. Get some firm back. Continuing the tour around the outside, we've got that huge access door to the garage there. Your onboard water tank filling point there, which is lockable. Uh, a maintenance and access point here for your heating pipes. Cassette toilet emptying point there. That informs you the location of the bathroom on the motorhome. This is that uh, locker I said where it goes all the way through. So there's the other access door just through there. Can you see? So uh, a really decent storage area there. Maintenance access point for the Aldi boiler. 
the wet central heating and water boiler. Electric hookup point there. There's your Audi uh, vent there. And all your electrics, there's an external socket there. Trips, uh, your battery charger unit there, and your fuses, so very easy access to all the electrics there, all in one place. And the other uh, storage, which goes all the way through, apart from that drawer that I showed you, the one hand operation on the other side. Okay, so that goes through there, and that's the outside of the motorhome, and there's your diesel fill point there. But obviously a Continental van, you've got the access door which takes you into the passenger rather than the driver's side, but obviously it's a French van, this would normally be the driver's access door, but obviously this is a, a right-hand drive model. But let's have a look around the inside, a bit more detail. Okay, let's go in. So we've got this electric step obviously here. Just very quickly, just... there we go. So it's just stands on there. Let's get those off. So as you walk in, you can see there's the electric step, and then you've got this built in step also, and uh, a storage area there as well, which is really good. Okay, so as we step in, you can see the spec on this is extremely high. A hidden hideaway TV unit, which I've just popped up there to show you where it would store and the TV unit goes all the way down and fits flush here. Uh, these lovely pilot's seats, fully rotating cab seats, passenger seats with a, a seat belt built into it. So you've got no seat belts coming across you when you rotate the chairs. Uh, there's the Comfortmatic gearbox, automatic gearbox, all your controls on the steering wheel, cruise control and um, speed limiter. You've got a large Kenwood media centre there. Really impressive um, cab. Uh, full blinds coming down at the front and full blinds on the side there also. I won't pull it all the way down because I haven't adjusted the seats and it's difficult to do with one hand. You need one hand on the uh, controller and one hand to stop the, the seat dropping down. But I can just very uh, quickly show you, if I look in here, this little nice, lots of nice design features. Uh, that hides away all the control panels there. There's your Aldi heating panel, your basic um, Motone panel that does all the other things, your pump, your electrics, obviously your power. You can program things as your hot water tank emptying and or, or levels, fill levels, I should say. Uh, TV uh, bracket, uh, TV thing there. And then the, it's just a very simple push button operation and it brings down a lovely, very wide bed there. And I don't know if I can just angle the camera up slightly. Okay, and uh, if I just lock the camera up there. I can just show you the workings there, all the hydraulics and the electrics. And it's a very neat operation. Let's just pop that back. Okay, so continuing in the hab area, got this table which just easily folds. It's got a strengthening bar when you do have it in that position and it rotate and it um, pushes this way and that and get it in any position you want uh, in the floor interesting if I could just angle the camera down here we go we've got all these hidden panels in the floor um, that's the access to the storage which I showed you earlier that goes all the way through and then another storage unit there so that's just access to the storage that's good while I've got the camera angled down let's go through these floor panels they're all on nice hinges. Again, easy access to storage. Easy access to storage. And then two further panels there, which have got maintenance, access for your water pump and pipes. 
So everything is made very, with very easy access. Access to the water tank, onboard water tank there. And there we go. That's all the sort of boring maintenance stuff. Let's have a look at the finish. Got this lovely leather uh, finish all the way throughout. You've got two uh, seated belts there where these pull up and they hide the seat belt there so you can have that pushed down so it all looks nice and flush. Um, lovely leather upholstery, really nice finish. Um, got this little sneaky kind of thin storage hanger wardrobe there and then this great sort of slidey larder here. Uh, all the kitchen units are finished with this lovely high gloss white and really nice ergonomic. You've got uh, chopping boards, easy access to your gas pipes um, switch offs there. Extra um, work surface that covers up the, the kitchen there. Uh, two gas burners and an electric hob, so you've got the best of both worlds, uh, an induction hob as well to boot. So that's amazing. Uh, there's a, another drawer there with a hidden uh, cutlery tray. Lovely. All soft closed doors as well. There we go. And another sort of can larder thing there. Now all of these cupboards uh, sort of airplane locker cupboards they have a push button and high and a gas strut so you've got loads of storage there four cupboards there two on the other side this unit which goes above the oven and fridge and this is one of those clever upside down um, oven and grills so it is a dual oven and a grill and it's the upside down version. it's all very neat Massive fridge, separate freezer. And that is the kitchen. You've got this lovely um, flexible sort of sink hose as well. Right, let's have a look at this, which pulls across to keep the bedroom and bathroom completely separate. So it slides away hidden in there. And then this also, this door also shuts off and acts as a double door to the bedroom. So you have a completely private bedroom, should you wish, or bedroom and bathroom with that slidey door. Okay. And you've obviously got the benefit of a completely separate toilet and shower cubicle, massive shower cubicle with these nice duck boards. Uh, a clever little hanging rail for your towel there that pulls down and can be used to hang your wet bits and bobs. Just close that off there. Nice white sink. And little corner cabinet there, so loads of space in there. And a cabinet underneath as well. There's also a cabinet underneath the bed here, which is quite sizeable actually. Comes all the way out, and obviously beyond that, you have the garage. Now, this is where I've lifted the bed, you can see. So you've got total height in the garage, and then that's how far the bed would drop. So you can just hop up um, when you've got all the bits and bobs that you're stored in the garage out when you're on site. Also in the bedroom, you've got the option to have a TV mounted there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a very clever, clever hidden away uh, HDMI and power socket here, so you wouldn't have any trailing cables. That would be your TV access po TV point there, and then more storage, hanging rails on either side of the bed here, and this bed is huge too. I can just reach across there. There you go. And then two lockers above, Audi heating control there. OK, 
Okay, and that is a little whistle, whistle stop tour of this Rapido uh, Distinction 1090, i1090. Woo, it's a cracker. <laughs>